All right, so welcome back, folks. We are going to do a fruit review today on this, and this is called an Asian pear. All right, so here's the Asian pear, and when you buy these in the store, this is generally how they're going to come with a special wrapping on it, and you just take the wrapping off, and you'll have something like this. Now, this one's been ripening now for about two weeks. You got to let them really ripen. You can eat them when they're kind of still green and, and stuff anyway, but I like to let them ripen because their flavor in them really, really develops a lot more. And you really want to eat them when they're at their ripest stage anyway. I mean, it's, it's not like it's tree ripening, but it does make a difference when you're, when you're eating these. Now, I wouldn't necessarily make a smoothie out of it because the texture of these are generally a little bit like a hard pear normally so but they go by many names and one of the names they go by is the Asian pear Korean pear and there's a whole bunch of names I'll put them in the description and I believe its botanical name is called pyrus pyrifolius pyrifolius or something like that I'll leave that correct name in the title and description. So let's cut it open and see what it looks like. Now this is nice and ripe. Now when a lot of times you get these, they're going to be really hard. So when you let them ripen, it's really nice. So that's what it looks like on the inside. Try to give you different angles. I don't know how the light is looking on it. It kind of smells like an apple, sort of. We'll cut a piece. Um, if do you, should you peel these before you eat them? You can peel them. I usually eat the skins. I'm not worried about the the um, you know the the chemicals that they spray on them. I'm not that worried about it. So I just usually eat them just like that so that's what I got and what what exactly is it is it a pear is it a apple what is it I don't really know what it is I don't know if it's a pear or an apple it's kind of in between them but let me take a bite and uh, kind of describe that flavor okay so the skin on it is very much like a pear skin it's got that same effect to it like a pear skin the, the flesh in the middle is very much similar to an apple, but yet has some pear characteristics. So when you're eating a pear, you kind of get that kind of a gritty type of an effect when you eat pears, especially when you're eating pears that are kind of still green if they're not fully ripened. You get like this gritty effect to it. It's kind of like that. Let me take another bite for the flavor. It's a really strange flavor. It has like almost banana flavor very slight uh, almost like a slight banana flavor or it might have like a kind of a taste between a pear and a and a, and a uh, apple there's kind of a taste between those if you were to kind of meld those two flavors together you kind of end up with the flavor of this thing it's got a strange flavor the flavor is very light too so it's not very it's not a very dominant flavor it's not like you eat it and you're overwhelmed but it's less than an apple so if you know what an apple tastes like and you kind of get that aftertaste from the apple kind of sticks around a little bit this isn't like that this is instantly gone within seconds of eating it you get a quick taste of it sweetness moves around and it's basically gone it's not very sweet it's not a heavily sweet fruit but it does have sweetness on it can you make pies and stuff with it yeah you could make you can make like apple pie with this if you want, or you can you can make like uh, anything you could make an apple or a pear with, you can do with this basically. It's pretty much the same thing. I, I would probably say if you're going to make a, like an apple pie with it, I would say remove the skins. 
definitely remove the skins on it. Don't try to, you know, if you're going to try to can it or pickle them or something like that, you can. I, I would probably recommend you remove the skins again in that case because they, they are a little bit on the strong side, the skins, but not uncomfortable. I don't mind the grittiness to it. It's nice to chew. I like skins that are chewy like that. Yeah, that's up to you how you would want to do it, but you can do that pretty much with this. But it's not exactly an apple and it's not exactly a pear. It's kind of in between. The flavor is really strange. I'm telling you, it's got like a, a almost like a candy type of flavor. It tastes like candy, to be honest with you. One of, some kind, one of those uh, hard candies that you eat, not like bubble gum, but like a hard candy or something. It, it doesn't taste like an apple, really. And if you were to try to say what kind of fruit might it taste like, like I said, it might taste a little like um, a mix between... A pear and an apple kind of with a slight undertone of like um, of like a uh, banana a little bit in there but it's it's more or less has like a, a candy flavor that has that has that every candies that kind of got that tarty flavor to it but it's not really tarty it's just got that weird it's hard to describe I like these a lot better than um, peaches or, or, or uh, not not so much peaches but apples and pears definitely i like this one a lot but again the price tag on these is can be pretty high i think i paid for this one i think i paid uh almost three dollars just for the one asian pear so they are quite pricey weird certain parts of it closer to the core and parts that are closer to the skin have like a different flavor sensation the way it affects your tongue it's just a strange fruit so Here's the skin. I'll try to give you a close-up of the skin. And that's basically it. So just a quick fruit review on the Asian pear. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.